Fox is hitting the road. After plugging in for more than 800 miles in an EV, Fox Business correspondent Jack Jeff Flock found that you better do your homework before the big drive. When it comes to electric vehicles, the technology is great and you can't beat the acceleration. But if you're planning to take one on a cross-country trip, there are some things you should think about. Chicago to New York in an EV. According to Tesla's routing, it should take 16 hours, compared to a gas car, which would be about 13 and a half. You're supposed to arrive in New York on Friday. You think you're going to make it on time? <laughs> Fingers crossed. Off we go. Our first charging stop, Elkhart, Indiana. We traveled 112 miles. The battery was supposed to take us 219. Backing up skills required, by the way, to access the rear port. Mm. A half hour later, we're back on the open road. Charging stop number two, Maumee, Ohio. According to the car, the battery should have taken us 205 miles, but we'd only gotten 127. We stopped for the night in Elyria, Ohio, not far from Cleveland. So last night when we parked the car, we had 38 miles remaining. This morning, didn't do anything overnight, 15 miles remaining. The Tesla software routed us to the nearest supercharger in Sheffield, Ohio. Oh, gosh, we could have gone another 15 feet. Stopping off in Girard, Ohio, for our second charge of the day. At this point, we've traveled 87 miles since our last charge. That's 46 miles less than anticipated. With the battery charged, we headed back to the highway. Three more stops to juice up the car, each time only getting between 58 and 69 percent of the mileage that the car had estimated. After two days and 808 miles of roads with next to no traffic, we reached New York City in just under 17 hours of driving plus charging. About an hour longer than the car had estimated, but three and a half hours longer than a gas car would have taken. Aside from that white knuckle trip to the one uh, charging station, uh, it was a good ride. If you stay on course, you'll be okay. If, however, you're like me and you like to, uh, well, be spontaneous out there on a road trip, you might be in for a long ride. With the Fox Business Network, I'm Jeff Flack.